Hi folks, Jeff from Orange Acres, and I want to show you one of these custom-built uh, snowmobile trailers. This is an 8x12 snowmobile trailer, so accommodate those long track snowmobiles. Also, by going the extra two feet, it tilts at a little bit of a lesser angle than some of your other ones. Now, this one has the 15-inch tires and wheels. Uh, this is optional as well. Usually, they come with the 13-inch tires and wheels, which are about two inches shorter than these. They're not the 10-inch donut tires. But uh, the 13s are a pretty good sized tire as well. Uh, I want to show you this rig here. It's got a uh, 12 or a 12 foot uh, channel iron frame or down the sides here. And this is channel steel. It's not tube steel. It's painted 365 degrees. The difference between channel and tube is you can't paint the inside of the tube steel. So it rusts from the inside out sometimes. And this is uh, 3 16 thick. So a little bit thicker than most of your 8th inch uh, tube frames that you'll find or even sometimes smaller than eighth inch. Um, it's got three sixteenths thick uh, cross members as well and that channel uh, on the hinge point there it's got three hinge points it's got an eight foot channel subframe underneath it and that's what keeps the trailer from bowing over the top of the wheel so lots of times your pressure comes up from the wheel mount goes up and just sometimes they're just welded under the cross member then they don't have a subframe to them and they'll push up through the center of the deck so we don't do that we use a full eight foot subframe that goes all the way back there and that supports that axle and keeps it from going through this is a unlike a normal straight tongue uh, snowmobile trailer this is a tri-frame tongue and it's got three hinge points underneath there um, they're all grade 8 bolts so if you can shear off those you're doing pretty good uh, that tri-frame tongue keeps you from when you jackknife the trailer keeps you from shearing off that tongue and uh, of course it's three sixteenths thick not eighth inch like your uh, other ones are. That piece is a tube steel, but we go with an extra thickness on the uh, on the tongue just so it's uh, it, it's gonna you know if you have an eighth inch and it rusts all the way through, you know with three sixteenths you'd have fifty percent left. So that's the difference there. Uh, it's got a two inch coupler on that and a thirty five hundred pound axle, not a two thousand pound axle, but a thirty five hundred pound Dexter Easy Lube axle. And of course, you can get these with the fifteen inch or the thirteen inch tires and wheels. This one's got the fifteens on it. The decking is real 2x6 uh, fur and large decking from Tricon Timber and St. Uh, Regis. So they're ma welded here in Montana with wood that's from milled here in Montana. And uh, you can see it's got a T-plate there. You undo those screws underneath there and those bolts. And uh, you can take off the decking if you want and change out your decking later on down the road. Just standard 2x6 decking. And uh, so if you want to go to Teak or... Nothing but the best for your snowmobile. You can you can spend thousands of dollars decking if you really want to. Uh, stake pockets all the way down the sides, as you can see there. And uh, we don't have a tie down drilled in the center of this, but you can put a hole in the center and tie into this cross member if you want to. If you want to have a place to tie your skis, of course we have an extra uh, tie down in the front there as well. Uh, two in the front corner. So in case you want to build side racks, you know you go snowmobiling too much and your wife leaves you, you can put a two by four and some plywood on these and put all your belongings on them. And uh, that way when she throws you out of the house, you have a way to get all your stuff out of the front yard. So let's go take a look. You also got some taillights box in the back. These are recessed a little bit back so you don't have a, uh, a truck that hit, uh, they don't hit the ground whenever you tilt. And you can see that extra easy lube axle. Now that the American made axle is made in Kansas City uh, by folks who know how to build axles. It's not a cheap Chinese axle. We use a 3,500 pound axle. It's got a bigger base and a bigger uh, bearing than you have in your 30 uh, in your 2,000 pound axle. So a lot stronger in that sense as well. So we're going to take a look here. It's got the swing lock jack or you can have the drop foot jack. The swing lock jack has a roller. The drop foot jack you pull the pin on is the same as our heavy duty uh, car hauler trailers. Um, if you have a slanted driveway or something like that, a lot of people like the drop foot. They don't want to have a wheel on it. Uh, and some people like to have a wheel because they can roll it into their garage. You pull the latch here like that. And you tilt back. Oops, got to move the handle first. And there you go. Now I'm going to pull this pin here, and we're going to tilt the deck. And I only got it on a four-wheeler right now, but you can see it's got plenty of room there. Let's see how easy this baby tilts. And it looks like it's pretty, pretty uh, well balanced. I got this one balanced very well. And that's the angle there. I'm going to try to show you the angle. It's not a very steep angle at all. And if it had the 13-inch tires, it'd be even a less steep angle. See how the tail lights there just missed uh, being smashed into the ground. That's why we do it that way. They are fully boxed in though, and so 
they can't do that. So you got your, uh, you know, real two by six decking. And if you want to screw onto this, a lot of guys put those chicken boards on here for your snowmobile track to hit, or you can get an old snowmobile tread plate and screw that down to that real, real wood decking. But it's not flimsy plywood that's going to fall apart. Woo! A little bit slick right there. I've got snow issues. But, uh, and you can see as you go up, you are going to tilt. Ah! Ah, I'm tilting! It's gonna tilt! I'm just kidding. I'm just afraid of heights, so I don't think it's not that bad. And of course, as I go down, it tilts down. So, there you go. If you want uh, one of these babies, they're usually by custom order. We don't build too many snowmobile trailers ahead of time. Um, just because we don't have that much market. Uh, but, uh, if you want a snowmobile trailer, you let us know. Of course, we have our raft trailers. We can also build a tilting trailer just like this for a raft if you want it in a narrower size as well. Or uh, you can even try to put a winch and a roller on it. There's some problems with putting a winch and roller on a raft trailer, though, or on a tilt trailer, is that when you go to tilt, when you start turning the crank, it untilts the trailer because it's pushing it back together. So, But uh, you can always try. And, uh, of course, that pin goes right back in there. And uh, give us a call, 370-5466, if you want to take a look at one of these. Or you want to uh, get one of these and see all our other videos on our website, orangemt.com. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, we take all forms of cash, 50s, 100s, and 20s. No checks, no credit cards. Sorry about that, but uh, if you want one, bring us cash. Thanks for tuning in.